Over 1 million children die annually due to childhood diarrhoea, generally caused by E. coli. The study titled Consuming Transgenic Goat's Milk Containing the Antimicrobial Protein Lysosome Helps Resolve Diarrhoea in Young Pigs was published in 2013. It was led by Caitlin Cooper, Linda Brass Clovis, Elizabeth Magger, and James Murray. The aim of the study was to investigate milk containing lysosomes to treat di diarrhea in pigs, which were used as a model for humans. Diarrhea is specifically a problem in developing countries. It is a direct result from an infection in the gastrointestinal tract. The infection causes an inflammation in villi cells along the edge of the tract and an influx of water into the intestinal lumen, causing diarrhea. Further diarrhea can result in dehydration, electrolyte imbalance, and malnutrition. The aim of this experiment was to utilise transgenic milk containing lysosomes, referred to as HLZ milk, to reduce the effects and recovery time for pigs with diarrhea. The study consisted of exposing six-week-old Hampshire Yorkshire crossbred male pigs to a strain of E. coli. Half of the pigs were fed milk containing the lysosome, and the other half were fed normal goat's milk and used as a control. Clinical observations were recorded using a scale that determined faecal consistency and activity level. Tissue samples were used to analyse villi height, width and thickness as the villi are damaged in the event of diarrhoea. Once statistically analysed and compared, the data was formulated into graphs. This graph shows observational data. Fecal consistency is a measure of diarrhoea and as an influx in water in the intestinal lumen, which causes very water feces. Activity level decrease in animals due to dehydration and infection. It can be seen that once the pigs ingested the HLZ milk, there was an increase in both activity level and fecal concentration, indicated by the two blue lines. In comparison, the pigs in the control group declined further and ended in the experiment with lower activity and fecal matter scores here and here. Tissue samples collected show the villi present in both groups, thus comparing the villi height, width and thickness for the HLZ fed meal and the control group. The control group slide here, the height of the villi was reduced with decreases in the overall surface area of the villi. The villi are also wider in the control group and showing shallow crypts, which indicates inflammation. This inflammation and decreases in the villi height show that the control group has been affected more than the HLZ milk pigs and sustained further damage. Both of the results for the clinical observation and the tissue samples support the conclusion that pigs fed milk containing lysozymes sustained less villi damage, were more hydrated and recovered faster, thus making milk containing lysozymes an effective treatment of diarrhoea. Thank you.